Now, for those of you that don't know, this whole desk setup thing is actually how this YouTube channel started for me. While nowadays it's more about just gear and me trying to become better at filmmaking, yeah, I haven't made a desk video in over five years, so I thought it would be fun to just finally make another one. But first, we have to build it. Okay, I am one of those weird people that likes Apple's Magic accessories. Now, most people don't like them. I get that. Personally, I've tried a mechanical keyboard. I have an MX Master 3. I just don't use them. I even recently upgraded to, well, the Magic Keyboard with Touch ID and then I kind of had to upgrade the trackpad and the mouse. One thing led to another, you know. So anyway, there's something about them that I just like. And I think mainly it's a combination of the gestures on the Magic Mouse and the Magic Trackpad for me that really sold me on them. For the speakers, if you are from way back, you might recognize that those are actually still the same. The Audio Engine A2s, I haven't upgraded them. They make weird popping noises quite often now, actually. So maybe it's time for something else. I have no idea what's wrong with them. The stuff that's changed, I am a full-time Mac user now. Uh, right, so I've completely abandoned Windows about two years ago, I guess, with the release of the M1 MacBooks. This is still an M1 Pro MacBook Pro, 32 gigs of RAM, the M1 Pro, 500 gigs of storage. It's, it's really basic, not that expensive, but it still does everything well, or well enough, right? Even red raw footage works on it, sometimes, depending on the compression, a little worse, but it works. Uh, so for now, I'm good with it. Towards the end of last year, I also picked up this Arturia Mini Lab 3 um, because I wanted to get into making music. Now that's been going semi well. I've actually spent some time doing it, but I'm still terrible. Obviously, it's not been a, it's not been that long, uh, but it's it's super fun to play around with, and yeah, it also looks pretty cool on the desk. Besides that, we have some little knickknacks, right? Some books, obviously photography related. A cactus because fake like, plants are terrible to screw them. Uh, and um, yeah, I just have a Red Mac reader. To connect all of that stuff, I'm just using a Belkin Thunderbolt Free Dock because I bought it used and it was the cheapest option. I honestly do not care about the dock, right? It just, it has to look decent and do the job. Thunderbolt Free is totally fine because none of the stuff I have here is Thunderbolt 4. Um, what can I say about that? Yeah, it, it does everything it needs to do, which is connect all the stuff. For the centerpiece, obviously the studio display. Picked it up like two months ago. Before then, I was actually still, still using that Dell Ultrawide monitor from that old desk setup tour. Uh, so yeah, I had that for like eight years, but it was finally time for something new and the studio display, it quite frankly is amazing. Now, I did make the first impressions video and some people split on this thing, clearly. But I gotta say, after two months now, I still look at this thing all the time and just go, wow, it, it, it truly is great. Not gonna lie, bought it partially, big part for the design. Um, anyway, all you need to know for now is this is still Amazing. I really like it. I don't think there's going to be a new one anytime soon. Uh, so I'm very happy with that pickup. And I'm probably going to make a review on it not too long from now because I've been using it a lot. So I think figured it out. I've actually switched this whole thing around multiple times now. If you go back and watch some earlier videos from this year, you might notice that. But yeah, I got to say where it is now, I do quite like it. I might just shift the whole thing over there, having a green wall behind it. Um, but for now, it's probably gonna kind of stay this way. I still have to figure out this situation here, where my MacBook is, because 
yeah, it's not, it's not great. It, yeah, I don't know, something's wrong with that. Anyway, uh, just a quick little update on this. And I will see you next week, hopefully, with the Fuji X106. Let's see.